In this tutorial, you're going to see how to link a text animator to two text fields, one of which is made up of little dots to give you a visual indicator of what's happening with your text animator, like this, or maybe like this. You see the shape affects the text animator. Mysterious, but not for long. Text animators in After Effects, they're really powerful, but they're also really hard to understand. So let's make a graphical way to see what the text animator is doing so we can understand them a little bit better. Now I borrowed this technique off somebody as I uh, give this person who remains a mystery to me a shout out. I'm gonna type lots of dots. You could actually just copy and paste the dots. It's probably gonna be a lot faster way to do it. And the dots are going to become a little kind of graph that lets us see what the text animator is doing and we're going to use some clever little copy property link thing to link them up. So this is some type and here's our little graph and we need to link those together. First we're going to put a text animator on. Now I'm going to assume that you know a little bit about text animators but uh, if you don't know too much here's a very very quick primer. If I flip open uh, this property thing and uh, if I have switches turned on here you get this one animate and I'm going to choose position and it gives you a text animator with a range selector. The default is zero, and if I change that, so push that up a little bit, my type all goes up. Neat, I'm not changing the position here, I'm changing the position here. What, that's amazing. But why would you do that? So with a range selector, you can choose how much of the type gets uh, affected by this property. I'm gonna change the end, and this red bar here, that indicates the end, I can drag it, here or I can drag it here. It's kind of like the width of this range selector. If I change the start, it's moving this little red bar and the offset changes both of them at once. It's kind of, you can think of the start and the end as being the width of our range selector and the offset as being how far across they are. Now I'm going to just hold on to your hats everyone because I'm going to flip open the advanced bit and we get all of these things. That's quite advanced, but uh, we're gonna make sense of it in a minute. The shape right now is set to square, and that's why these aren't very smoothly going up and down. If I change that to ramp up, the shape of the whole thing changes. That's cool. If I add a property here, like, um, let's see, where's the opacity? If I add that, and I'm gonna change, right now it hasn't done anything because the opacity is set to 100%. Drag that down to zero, and look at that just disappears, just goes away. If I change that to ramp down, the shape of that changes. Now it's disappearing at the start and it's coming back at the end. Well, that's all well and good. We've uh, had a bit of a play around with our range selector. We've, we've even delved into the advanced bit, but I want to link this text animator up to this one so that I can see graphically what's going on. Now I'm going to select the text animator and I'm going to go to the edit menu and go copy with relative property links. Mm. All that means is that now it's put a whole bunch of expressions on my clipboard. So when I select this layer, which is the dots, and I'm going to choose paste. Now normally I wouldn't choose paste from the menu. I know there's a keyboard shortcut. This is all, this is for your benefit, okay. Paste, look at that. Now it's done the same thing to this one. But wait, I don't want it to disappear. I want to be able to see all of those dots all the time. So let's flip open that one. Now the numbers are red because it's that was the uh, copy with relative property links. It's a real mouthful. It's done them uh, as expressions so that each one of these properties is linked to the corresponding property on text animator one on this layer. So that's the expression basically says just whatever value is in my cousin up here. Just I want to use it here, please. That's what relative property links are. They're not all uh, linked up though. Some of these properties aren't animatable. Look at that, there's no stopwatch next to these. Not animatable. So if we wanted to uh, change the value up here, then we need to change it manually. But I digress. What I want to do first of all is get rid of the opacity property here because it's making our dots disappear and I actually don't want them to disappear. I want to see them the whole time. So I'm just going to select opacity and I'm going to press delete. You're probably quite familiar with the delete key now because you're a elite hacker. This is showing us the shape 
of our curve that's on that type but it's not disappearing anymore now when I flip open this is some type text layer and I play around with these values whoa cool it's actually showing me the shape of the curve down here as it affects the type up there as I play around with the offset if I do change the shape though so that's on ramp down ramp down kind of means like um, start in one place and end up in another place but if I go to um, round and I will need to change it down here as well because as I mentioned before that's not animatable so the copy property links hack doesn't work round has changed the shape here and we'll just ease just reset those back to zero you've got this lovely round shape quite appropriately named if you think about it and so that's that means you know start at nothing go up to 100 and then come back down to nothing so it's affecting with these properties here position and opacity kind of starting at zero it says okay then at, when it's at 100 percent of this text animator i want you to be at minus 159 pixels and i want you to be completely uh transparent let's put some keyframes in and continue to play around a keyframe in there for uh not for opacity what are you doing Put a keyframe in there for offset and put a keyframe um let's see two seconds later we'll move that offset so it's gone right off to the other side of the page and adjust the first offset all right when i press play all right we can see our curve moving from left to right and affecting the type this is pretty good this is pretty handy Let's imagine a universe now in which we wanted to make our type look like it was jumping into the air because it was happy. Now I have a confession to make. I, I messed up before when I was supposed to be choosing round. I actually chose uh, smooth and didn't notice until now. You really don't need to know what's going on behind the scenes. Just let me assure you that I'm working really hard to make this look as seamless as possible and, and really not doing a great job of it. So now they're both round. Okay, so round, round. And now I get to see the shape of my round curve which is really good really handy and I can see that it kind of immediately jumps up into the air gradually comes back down to the ground and if I press play and before I do that get rid of that opacity property I don't want it anymore okay so I press play yeah they're all jumping up but they're jumping up by character I want to jump up by words so I can just change it up here to words this one is still going to be uh, our graph based on characters we want that because effectively after effects treats all that as one word if i change that to words now and press play well the whole thing just jumps up we don't want that we want it to be characters so now it's exactly what we want now that it's set up in this way it becomes much easier to see how the text animator is applied to your type so if i wanted these to go up and down smoothly then maybe i could say rather than having the round uh shape i could change it to smooth for example change it to smooth down here carefully okay now i can see immediately what that does and so for example if i right now it's doing one word at a time if i wanted there to be a little bit of overlap for example it becomes uh, straightforward to see i can just make that a bit wider and now it's affecting more than one word at a time because the whole thing is wider it's nice and smooth at the beginning but maybe i wanted it to hit the top and come back down uh, abruptly then I can just play with the easing type up here. Now it will come gradually up, boink, off the top and come gradually down. If you don't believe me, let's play it. That's exactly what it does. So much easier to experiment with, much more fun, profitable, maybe even make you happier. That's it for today. I hope this made you happier or at least didn't make you angry or upset. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please give it a like and a subscribe and all of that good YouTube stuff. And I'll see you for the next text animator thing where we're going to look at some expressions which are weird and wonderful. Thanks for watching. Bye.